Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to the Side of Sauce podcast. Uh, it's me, your host, James. I'm back again. First episode of 2023. And of course, I'm sorry. joined by lovely, sexy, voluptuous, um, a hot, uh, ready to mingle uh, co host with me right now. Would you like to introduce Damn. yourselves? I feel like you really already did us justice, but I'm mad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm not even gonna introduce I, myself. I had now. to be. I just you had to be honest. Me. I did. I didn't really sell how um hot <laughs> you are. Damn, he did do him right. I just Man, had to do it. Johnny. I just had to do it. So, speaking of which, this is the first episode of 2023, which means I finally feel like we can kind of like do our whole little recap, like we did last year, of yeah. like a. Uh, of like, oh, what's the what's the best things of uh, last year? And, like, what are you looking forward to? So, I want to start off. Uh, let's talk about... Nothing. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> let's, talk, let's talk about uh, our favorite thing, video games. What was your guys' favorite video game of last year? That was not Balloon Tower Defense 6. It probably <laughs> would have been Destiny, because I played that the most. But if I'm going to go for games released last year, I'd have to look. Oh, There's okay. a lot of good ones. There were a lot of good ones. Last year was packed with a lot of good games. I uh, I'm thinking if I if I was choosing like solely of like games that came out last year, probably have to be Elden Ring. Honestly, I think for me. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, you're good. You're thinking. good. But yeah, Elden Ring is a really good one. Elden Ring is really fun. I like like uh, I don't know if I would be mine. It was definitely in like the top three. But I think I'd probably go with Sonic Frontiers. Honestly, makes sense. Yeah, I mean, I'm a, a fan. I mean, I'm a loser, so that's why. No, I mean no, I wasn't gonna say it, but Schmidt. He's spitting facts. <laughs> I'm spitting. What about God, he is spitting. I'm always spitting. What about what about you, uh, Maddie? What was uh what what about you? Well, you know, it's a good question. <laughs> um, I, I didn't expect to get asked. Didn't expect to get asked. Comes on podcast, gets asked questions. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Well, I don't never ever ask me questions. <laughs> well, well, what, what did I do with that thing? Um, shit, dog. <laughs> oh, I don't even know. Man. Um, motherfucker played I no I games. Played a lot of new games last year. I played a lot of old games. That's fine. I think I think it's interesting okay. if you had like what like even if it's older. Uh, Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk. She. I still have to play that again because I got it when it came out, and I played oh. it on my PS4. When I first got it. I remember sending you memes. I would send you the memes to harass you about that. Yeah, that so because that, that game ran that game ran like ass on the PS4. Funny. But I, <laughs> it was so worth it. Dude. It was it was funny, but I was upset. I was I was upset because I was like, I can't play this fucking sixty dollar game I paid for without it crashing well, every two damn minutes. You been, tell him how you've been playing your games lately. Streaming them through GeForce now. Which is surprisingly good. I've actually seen other people. I was looking up YouTube stuff because, like, I wonder if it's just Scully. And no, like, other YouTubers have said, yeah, GeForce is surprisingly good for cloud gaming, especially. Like, GeForce? It's not bad. GeForce now, yeah. Are you talking about the obscure 2009 live action movie about the hamsters that are spies? It is not, obs <laughs> it is not obscure. It's indie. It's indie. The, the <laughs> My <laughs> bad. The cult <laughs> indie classic. <laughs> G-Force, <laughs> where the hamsters fight another hamster in a toaster. Guinea pigs. Oh, where no, the guinea pigs fight a, a mole. Uh, mole. Uh, yeah, was it a mole? Pig. It's not hamsters. Yeah, he's it's a mole. Guinea pigs versus oh, yeah. shit, he was a mole. Yeah, you're right. This man over here. I forgot. I forgot I forgot the fat hamster or gerbil or whatever the fuck he was was like the villain. They're guinea pigs. The gui Are they They're guinea pigs? guinea pigs, but yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, what's the difference between a guinea pig and a hamster, really? You can what's the difference between a mouse and a rat? A bunch of dna what is the difference i mean what's the difference between them one's just like really fat and the other one's like you know slightly yeah, well, less one's fat just like a beefy mouse like, let's be <laughs> honest. if the mouse hit the gym and was a sigma mouse they'd be a rat the, no, sig no, the sigma the rat grind set <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just imagining you know those like really cringy like sigma edits but like you do those just like rats yeah. <laughs> And they're just like eating feces. <laughs> Sigma mindset, you the trash. Yeah, you just you had like the, you had like the, the, the epic music and like the color like grading on and shit. It's just like a rat. 
<laughs> it's just like a rat in the sewer just like taking his shit or something. <laughs> <laughs> but his shit has a six pack. <laughs> his shit has a six pack. <laughs> it has the fucking boom 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 boom. Yeah. Well I already knew the beat. I knew the beat, brother, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like be be the piece of cheese they never forget or some shit like that. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> stupid rat. Fucking <laughs> pumping iron down there in the sewers. <laughs> you really should be the piece of cheese. The stupidest thing I've ever thought. Of. <laughs> stupid. <sighs> this is brilliant. Don't be the don't be the the cheese in the rat trap. Be the trap itself. <laughs> be, be different. Be the rat trap. <laughs> Kill your fellow man or rat. Guys. Kill your fellow rats. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> rat trick <bait. laughs> Bateman, the, the the American oh, rat. <laughs> rat man. Oh yeah. fuck. Ratchet Bateman and the American rat. Oh man, the American sewer system. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. Have you ever seen that movie? The actually I've seen like part of it, like America's. So I've you've act- seen the clips, is what you're saying. I've never, <laughs> no, I've, I've never seen like that movie. A bit. I've never seen American Psycho, but I feel like yeah, I've seen it fifty good. times. It's all right. It's nothing crazy. But it's not. Yeah, it's nothing crazy, but it's not bad at all. It's I mean, isn't he literally crazy? Yeah, it's an interpretation. You don't really know at the end of it. Uh, wow. Okay. And no spoiler warning, because that's a fucking old movie. Yeah, fuck. If you are, <laughs> if you, if you, shut up. I was gonna say something. I forgot what I said because your stupid laugh. <laughs> Goofy off, motherfucking laugh. The goblin laugh. The deep goblin mindset. It's me, Peter. I'm the one that laughed. It was me all along. But fuck, what was I saying? Before, I don't oh, even remember. Before, before, before we talked about Ratrick Bateman, what what was I talking about? Uh, I don't even remember. Fuck it. I'm gonna move on. We're talking about next... game of the year. We're talking oh, about game fuck, of the year. Oh fuck yeah, game of the year. What were, what was yours, Maddie? I don't even remember what you said. Oh shit. Let me look at my Steam library real quick. Okay. What okay. came out last year? I don't even remember what came out last year. I'm gonna be honest. Elden Ring came out. God of War just recently came out in the end of last year. Um, the hit indie classic, last... right? Was last year of Valheim, or was that the year before? That was the year before, I think. Damn it. Um, I don't Val- know. I really just played old games last year. I was you played a lot of Destiny last year. Honestly? So I played, played pretty old based. shit that was cheap. Pretty red pill. Based. Pretty based, pretty red pill. Can't lie. So what games did you play then last year? Um, Forest. That was a lot of fun. Holy shit. That what? was fun. We played the Forest. The it's forest. a survival game. Yeah. Like a like a Imagine Boy game? Scout it's like it's like Boy Scout camping on an island, but instead of having MREs and Grubmaster, you have this thing called cannibalism and it's really funny. <laughs> Bro, just like my Dude, Boy Scouts are for cannibals real. within like the first like twenty four hours like, ten minutes. <laughs> yeah. Like I was watching videos online being like, you know, it's a moral decision, will you eat your fellow man? <laughs> and then we, we were like racks. snacking on like human legs like five minutes in being like, damn. <laughs> we had nice. racks of that stuff sun drying <laughs> and cooking on the fire. <laughs> we didn't even realize that that was so the, the, the amount of people you kill determines how much uh, aggression the natives show to you. So we didn't even realize that factor. We just were, you know, eating people left and right because we were fucking stupid. And it was too hard to go find the turtles. And God, remember hunting the rabbits? Those oh, things are so fast. That it was the well, hardest part of that game. The bow, though. Yeah, I mean the bow was. I hard do gotta, still. I do gotta say it was pretty cool. Like once we got skilled, but then we actually land our shots. Yeah, like, that, that was felt cool. pretty satisfying. That was very satisfying. I'll give you that. Okay. I'm hyped for the sequel whenever it comes out. I might, I might just have to play this game. This game sounds interesting. I like it. It's like one of the like. 
classic survival games that like everyone talks about the forest the forest okay i'm gonna write or this some down. Ga other games um i know you played destiny 2 a lot of destiny 2 uh, probably more <laughs> than i should say. have um destiny 2 balloon star defense 6 Crazy yeah i only started playing balloon star defense since 6 actually this year pretty much yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. This entire year might just be the year of Balloon Tower Defense 6. For real. Forget Year of the Rabbit. We got Year of the Monkey. Dude, I forgot it was the Year of the Rat. <laughs> it's Rabbit. Is it, Is it Rabbit? Rabbit. Oh, shit. Uh, my bad. Yeah. No, I yeah, just said was, that. Wasn't Rat 2020, I thought? Oh, Something yeah, it was. Like it was Rat 2020. Man. Rat 2020. It sounds like a president. Like, go vote Rat 2020. You're telling me you wouldn't vote for Ratrick Bateman? <laughs> God. He's got my vote. I'll, got, I'll say I mean, that. What what more does he have to say at the fucking uh, the poll? I mean, I'm there. I'm for him. For real. For real. But if we're, I think if we're gonna go talk about like games we played last year, like all together, um, I did a whole lot of like uh like starting video games and like getting midway through and then like never finishing them. I <laughs> honestly don't do that because I just never start games pretty much these days. Like yeah, Destiny just. Fills every niche. Like that, that was, and now Blue Tower Defense. I've been that was for me minute. with um, Skyrim, Final Fantasy VII, and Star Wars Battle uh, Jedi Fallen Order. Like I, yeah, and Horizon Zero. Dawn. I did. I did actually do that with Jedi Fallen Order. Like I started it, and then I was like, oh well, I'm done. I know. I like. I started it. I don't like the game. Like it's fun to play, and I like yeah. the story. I just like. Didn't pick I'm it back as up. addicted as I could be. Yeah. And I want to finish it before the sequel comes out because I want to play the sequel. For real. I think that comes out in like two months, actually. It comes out soon. I know, it comes out like March. They announced it like last month, which is fucking wild. But, yeah. dude, speaking of which, like, what games are you guys excited for this year? I'm excited for the new uh, Cyberpunk DLC if it comes out this year for sure. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Phantom Liberty, hell yeah. Let's see. I want to. I promise. I honestly, I feel like I'm always out of touch with what's coming out and whatnot. Scully usually has to tell me what's coming out because otherwise, I just don't know. Quite the boomer moment. I rely on this man's memory, honestly. I do have a crazy memory. He really does, this fucker. Starfield. I am excited if that comes out. Is oh that yeah, Starfield. This year? It's supposed to be this fall, I think. Yeah, it's like uh in. Not supposed to be last fall. It was supposed to be, but it got delayed. Cringe. Alien Dark Descent looks cool. Have you guys seen the oh, yeah, of... Avatar of uh, Pandora Frontier or Frontiers of Pandora? Oh yeah, the Avatar What's game that? was supposed to come out. The Avatar game was supposed to come out this year. Is that the mobile one? <laughs> no, it's the open it's a world it's action a... adventure video game based on James Cameron. Yeah, it's the it's the yeah it's the a, open it's world It's being one, made by EA, I think. No, there's a mobile one and there's one that's being made yeah, by no, no, Ubisoft. No. Which one are you talking about? I mean, not this EA, one here Ubisoft. is uh, let me see. It should be Ubisoft. And it's my mistake. I shouldn't see it. Where is it? Come on. You would think that'd be the most important thing to say. It would. It's being made by uh, the people who made Balloon quick. Tower Defense 6. Maybe. Developed by Massive Entertainment. Huh. I don't know why. I thought it was by, being made... published by Ubisoft. It was oh, published okay. by Ubisoft. I was like, I thought Ubisoft was making it. Oh, okay. Because I know they're also yeah, making yeah, the so... open world Star Wars game. I, I am excited for if that comes. I'm that comes excited out. for that, but I'm I'm hoping it doesn't end up like the Kotor remake where it just gets like announced and then it gets canceled, like six months after. Yeah, that would kind of. Suck. That was upsetting. Get canceled? I thought I just got delayed. It's uh, it was indefinitely delayed. That's fine. Are you excited for the new Suicide Squad, uh, James? Oh, yeah, Kill the Suicide Squad. That looks cool. I like. I'm really excited. It's got the final performance by uh Kevin Conroy as Dude. Batman, right? Yeah. I'm pretty sick. It might. Dude, that makes me upset, but like. Cause he was such a he was such, he's such an iconic Batman. He just he, I don't even like his Batman, but it was iconic. He was iconic. He was sure. the. Then why didn't you like him? What? Wait, what? Did I hear uh, that right? <laughs> I'm not a big fan of the older Batman's. L take. Uh, interesting take. Who who do you think is your definitive Batman? I mean, I like the my favorite Batman probably would have to be the what's his name, uh, Robert Patterson. Okay. And after that, it would probably be uh, the Dark Knight. 
Did you watch a uh, hold up? I know sure where Kevin Conroy is the animated one. Just so you know yeah. that, right, Johnny? No, I'm mistaken. Who am I thinking of then? Yeah, no, no, that's not who I'm thinking of. Are you yeah, thinking of I'm Adam thinking, West? Or, you're thinking <laughs> of uh, the Vulture, right? Yes. Yeah, that's what I thought. Is that, uh, which I'm not a big fan of. Like, I know it's iconic and I appreciate that, but it's not for me. Yeah, the Tim Burton yeah, see, Batman. This is literally this is literally what I rely on Scully for. He does these things for me, so I don't have to. Because I'm like, oh. Oh yeah, Tim Burton's Batman is like really fucking weird. Like I used to I really like it, it, and like now I kind of feel really weird about it because I'm like, which if, Batman after... do you not like? Me? Yeah. Oh, so I was, just, I, was like... I was saying I was thinking about Tim Burton's Batman movies. I was like, uh, because when I was younger, I used to really like them, but I feel really weird about them now, because they're like they're pretty okay as like a movie, but yeah. they're but as like if you were as, as someone who's as an like interpretation of Batman. as an interpretation of Batman, it's pretty shit. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> like, like it, it, it's maybe should start a mean way to phrase it, but like I think it's not a good interpretation, honestly. It's not, you know, you know, it's just a yeah. It's just like I've been like getting really a big into comic books for the past two years like and batman is like number one i think in like my entire like fucking catalog so i've read a lot of batman and just like i've recently watched that within like the past year and i was like man this is just not batman why the fuck is he killing people i think my favorite voice for joker for sure would have to be uh mark hamlin oh dude for joker yeah that's fucking iconic Hamill. Mark Hamill as Joker? You know I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I, it's Hamill. awesome. His laugh is fucking ooh. That shit's n- He's in nice. the uh, him and Kevin Conroy are both in the Arkham games. Yeah. Yeah, there's one of the things that's always kind of made me want to play the Arkham games. I have them on uh, Steam even. I think you gave them to me, Scully. I haven't got around to them. I, w- I gotta I figure out what them. order to play them in, and then I will get back into playing them, because I bought one. Uh, I don't remember what it was. Asylum, City, and then Night. Origins is a prequel, so you could technically play it first, but also since it's a prequel, it's not required. Yeah. Uh, that makes sense. I'm not I I'm I'm probably not gonna play that other game that came out last year. Uh Arkham Knights, I think it is. Gotham Knights, yeah, I heard Gotham that was pretty bad. It doesn't look that fun. Well, I saw the Skillet video and he basically said it sounded like or it felt like a game that was supposed to be set up as a like subscription based or like a what do you call it? Live service. Not live service, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Live service type game, but it feels like it kinda got packaged at the last second for this after getting canned on that. Yeah. Yeah. It kinda, kinda looks, looks like, like that, honestly. Like, I don't know why. There's like just the look of it when you like look especially when I feel like because uh, I mainly see only like uh Red Hood footage. He just kind of looks like a fu- it looks like a fucking free to play game. But like I do think it'd be cool to play as Red Hood, but I know you can play as him it. in one of the DLCs for Arkham Knight, so And I just Arkham feel I... but yeah. Also like a uh, He Kevin Conroy is the voice I hear when I read the Batman comics too, so that's also why I was also particularly upset based. when I, I heard about it. Or uh what, fuck, who's the guy who uh sometimes I listen, I hear a uh, the guy who uh, voices Batman in Batman Brave and the Bold. I forget his name. Was that not also Kevin Conroy? No, that was not Kevin Conroy. I don't, I don't think it was. Let me Google it. I thought it was, but Maybe I could be totally wrong on that. I think you actually are right. Batman Brave, Brave and the Bold. Let's see. Uh, who is Batman? Uh, Diedrich Batter. Diedrich Batter. Diedrich Batter. Batman. Batman. But yeah, he, so yeah, I knew it was different. Fuck, I was like, I like you said that it made me lose track, and I was like, maybe, 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 maybe I'm stupid, maybe I'm a fraud. Well, hold on, I, I don't think I we can rule that, that out. Just, just I can yet. believe that honestly. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up. Something ain't right. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. But yeah, it is. Uh, I think it's gonna be. I think. Uh, I hope his last performance is really good. I hope it's gonna be good. Yeah, fingers crossed. I do man. have hope in this game. It does look pretty fun from like the little gameplay we've seen. Well, it's the same people who made the uh, Arkham games, which the Gotham Knights wasn't. Was it so. not? I no, it, I thought it was made by the same people. It looked like the same type of game style or it, at first, but it wasn't the same people that made it. No, okay, it was okay. more similar yeah. games play. 
All right. You're moving around third person, jumping on buildings. I don't know why thinking about Gotham Knights made me think about the new Harry Potter game that's coming out. That does oh. look interesting. It looks interesting. It, it looks interesting. I don't want to get my hopes up too high, but I'm... I hope it's good. I really do. I like good. that it doesn't seem like it's all based. And this kind of sounds like kind of cringe, maybe, but it's not all based on it's just a fighting game. If there's a lot more to do, you can explore, which is something I always appreciate in like worlds that I like. I'm not a huge Harry Potter fan, but like if they did that for no, Star Wars, no, I think that's cool because like awesome. you're supposed to be a student at Hogwarts. You shouldn't just be like fighting all the time. It looks like yeah, you I don't want to do like yeah, exactly. Hogwarts it's cool stuff. just to live there and like do the things because that's I think what people really like about the universe. They don't want to go fight yeah. the bad guys as much as they want to go to a just because school I where beat, they feel just, it's awesome. Just because I beat the shit out of my classmates in regular school doesn't mean I have to do it at Hogwarts, you know? Exactly. But but I'm also excited for that game because i also thinking about it. Uh, J, J.K. Rowling. I was about to call it JFK. J.K. Rowling. I think I say J. Edgar Hoover. <laughs> <laughs> like J.K. is getting like... J.K. basically is not getting royalties for this game, which I think is awesome because she's a piece of shit. Why is she not getting royalties for this game? I don't, I don't know exactly why she's not, but like I know she isn't. James she's basic. Like based. Yeah, based. Does, is it because none of the Harry Potter characters are in it? Uh, I think that's... it takes place like two hundred years before the books or something. Yeah. Some ridiculous amount of time. Yeah, I think it. I think it, it takes might... place during the Goblin Revolution, which they like briefly mentions in the books, which I think is pretty cool. Yeah, that's I think cool. it's actually pretty cool. I think, yeah. I think it would be awesome, and like if if they continue to do more like things with this universe. If they just explore different things like in different time zones, almost like a yeah, almost like how like the Clone Wars does, where it's just, like it's different little yeah. mini stories. Star Wars universe. Yeah, from like all of different places. I feel like the- that's kind of, honestly that was the vibe I got a lot from the Adams Family's Wednesday or whatever you call it, Wednesday, Wednesday. on Netflix. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it gave me off a very like a smaller scale but a very Hogwartsy kind of vibe, and, and I actually did like that. I was like, that's a kind of cool, you know, it's a fun story. I have not. Well, I, I, think, I, think I have it's not seen Wednesday yet, but I have seen I? people thirsting for Jenna Ortega online. Don't don't say anything about her around Scully, because he he will. <laughs> I will not. He will go feral. This man slurping at her toes like nobody's business. Okay, I'm gonna have to ask you to stop there. <laughs> no, no, he's he's really not. He's really not. I'm just trying to. Make... <laughs> Bro's being exposed live. For no oh, reason what? other than my own enjoyment. <laughs> Maddie, would you like yeah, to yeah. would you like to tell us why you said I will personally bend down and slurp her toes? James, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna kill you. Would, you. would you like to answer for your sins? Would you like to make atonement for your sins? Yeah, that's now available. Would you like to make a comment? <laughs> but seriously though, yeah, it wasn't a bad show. Yeah. No, it was fine. What were some other shows you guys started this past year? Um, Edge Runners. Edge Runners. I'm trying oh, to think. Yeah, that was a good show. South Park. South Park. I just started watching that more this year, honestly. It was more. Yeah, it was. It was more of a year. this year thing. But I did. I did yeah, exactly. kind of get my toes in, like at the the tail end of last year. Um, also Man, that was last that was year. James who got me to start watching it. Uh, dude, I'm so grateful. <laughs> so grateful. So fucking funny. Uh, and surprisingly mature, like. I, I like what I find so funny is like how every episode it's pretty much just like a big kid version of the kid cartoons I used to watch where they teach you a lesson. It's like every single episode has a moral lesson in it, and it's like and they wrap it up in a real concise way, but it's all like relevant adult stuff. Like I like how they have like and this and like that. really it's so funny. I like how they have like really good interesting lessons too, like that not a lot of people really talk about. Like uh, there's yeah. one episode where it's like Stan has a friend who is. I forget what religion it is, but they spend like the whole episode like saying the religion's dumb and stupid, and oh, then at the God. end it's like, Cartman. "Hey, dude, look, it doesn't matter if my religion's dumb or stupid, as long as I'm not hurting people. Who cares?" I and he's like, "You have a lot of growing up to do. Suck my balls." <laughs> and he walks away. Oh yeah, Car- that, that would be Cartman. That, that would be Cartman. The Stan. Man. Yeah, Stan, Stan's always getting ripped in by Cartman. And Cartman's always getting taught a lesson pretty much man i really learned that i should not ground people up into chili and make them eat it what what are you talking about i guess it does sound really fucking weird out of context 
It does. The I Cartman's bet it like really weird in the context. Cartman's like the lie. mean friend who's like always a total jerk and a butthead. He's like a, he's a racist. And so he's always yeah he's always saying the things that, and the other kids are always kind of like. It's hard to describe, but it's funny. It is pretty funny. Cartman's an anti-hero. He's like the guy that gets ripped on because he's so in, un, uh, insensitive and so mean. But at the same time, he's you know like all all the those kinds of villains. They make them have oh they have a somewhat soft side or whatever. He's funny. He's funny. <laughs> I can hear Scully wincing. He's like Jesus Christ. These people are demented. He's, Other he's... shows I watched. Um, uh, I rewatched a good portion of Arrested Development, probably the first five seasons. I'll be honest and, uh, with you. Still good. I'll say it right now, and I feel very scared <laughs> about saying this, but I've not seen Arrested Development. It's really, really funny. It's like imagine it's Friends right. if it was funnier <laughs> and didn't have a laugh track. Imagine like most classic comedies where you're like, oh, it's kind of funny, but like a lot more edgy. I thought Friends was kind of funny. Friends is funny, Friends, but at the same time, Friends it's not has the like most moments funny show. It's... where it's funny, but I don't think it's consistently funny. I think it's it. A lot of the jokes are less funny than they're meant to be. Yeah, that's what I feel. But like. I do, but I do think, in I stark like Friends, contrast, though. that I really do like Seinfeld. Seinfeld looks funny. Seinfeld is funny because everyone on that show is like a terrible person, but they don't know that they're a terrible person. That sounds like what's that show? Um. Uh, the one where they have the bar. There's a lot of show with bars. Friends? No, 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 the one where they own the bar. Uh, Patty's the bar's name. I can't think of what the show's called. It's blanking on me. Friends? Is it Always no. Sunny? Yes, it's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Thank you. Yeah, okay. I, I want to watch Always Sunny. It looks it looks funny. Like, from I've the like, clips I've seen, I've, like, well really enjoyed. Show. Yeah. People, I've heard people always talk about, like, the show's so well written, it's ridiculous, and oh, it's so thought out, and oh, so I'm like, okay, maybe. But it could also be a case of, you know, like, overhype, but I, I would like to watch it, yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think, because I don't act, you know, it's really weird. I don't watch a whole lot of TV. Um, I don't really do. Did like, you see Cyberpunk Edge Runners? Um, next no. topic. <laughs> no, I did not uh, see Another Cyber show I watched a bit of was Dark, and that was actually pretty cool. I only saw. Ooh a bit of the first season but that was interesting Ooh, something i might not be able to talk about but what i did watch a lot this year is i had a like i had a renaissance of like uh like shit from my childhood that i wanted to watch and mm. i was a really big documentary kid back in like when i was oh, younger oh same so i went to like our like a local store that sold like a bunch of dvds and i just bought like a bunch of like old prehistoric uh documentaries that's cool and i've just Dude, been watching i would like them. to watch some of that Dude, yeah it's fucking awesome uh, like some of it, like you listen to, and you're like, "What the fuck were they smoking? <laughs> <laughs> what were they talking about? T Rex with six legs and two heads? What?" Like some of them are like fucking awesome, like how old, like early two thousands they were, and how like they're uh, just like uh, fucking metal, and it's just like okay, whatever. Like I um I own yeah. Walking with Dinosaurs, and uh, Walking with like Beast, and I fucking mm -hmm. love those. I love putting them on and just watching them like every other week did you ever watch those um the the ones about prehistoric like mammals and the ones before dinosaurs they yeah have? those ones are pretty good too that's what walking with beast is it's just the it's about yeah, the okay i didn't know if you knew, if you knew that yeah i like those two as a kid my favorite was the one with the water the dinosaur the i think oh, it was the third okay. episode with okay. the underwater lizards yeah that shit scared me though dude i yeah Shit like that always made me terrified of the fucking ocean, which I don't mean to go on a... I'm not going to go on another tangent about how I fucking hate the ocean. Because, you know, I've done that a lot. And both on this podcast and with real people. Uh, oh, ew. So I'm just not going to do that, but... Oh, real people? I know real people, yeah. But, uh, this is Discord. I don't know what you're talking about. This is cool. oh, I'm having an identity crisis right now. What's going on? <laughs> me too. He is just like me for real every day. <laughs> just, like... But the thing is, for me, I just have a crisis every day. <laughs> a I'm mental crisis. For real. I'm just like Batman, except I'm not. I don't have any superpowers. I just have mental <laughs> attacks every day. I'm just like Batman, except I'm severely depressed. <laughs> God. <laughs> Instead of having an old personality where I beat up cr homeless criminals, <laughs> I have an alternate personality where I'm just mentally ill. <laughs> That's my main personality. <laughs> he is just like me for real. Oh my God. 
Oh my goodness, what can we talk about? Let me hold. Do you have anything planned? I was gonna say. I do have stuff planned. I've like I had I, my phone was off, so I had to like look at it. Okay, did you guys hear about um? Did no. you guys hear about Andrew Tate being arrested? Oh, yes. that was that finally was peak fucking godliness. Like that was peak that fucking time? comedy gold. Dude, for real. Dude, like out of nowhere. He just goes and like out of his way to just like try to shit on Get like this boxed. girl. Yeah, like this little fucking girl, like this teenage girl. And he's just like and then he gets made fun of in the tweet afterwards and he gets ratioed to fucking high heaven. Like it's an absurd <laughs> absurd ratio. And then proceeds to so follow funny. it up with a video of him in like some stupid fucking bathrobe and he's like clearly not heard about it you know him's like oh i i'm not hurt i'm just i'm just you know i'm just wanted to show you something and like whatever fucking he, he whatever dumb shit he he's always like says crying for like however long he's holding back the, the tears dairy pizza box holding back his tears and then he pulls out talking his about, trump you know, card I, I saw clips recently where people were talking about him he's always made these comments like you mean real men don't cry about their problem that's what pussies do and stuff did you Bruh. see his comment about like Real men don't read books. You already have good ideas in your head or some shit like that. Bruh. He would be the type of guy to say that. I was like, what the fuck? Are you, what are you on? Got, motherfucker. Me, me just reading Harry Potter. Just like, oh, let me put this down. I'll go start my own wizarding school. I don't need this. <laughs> Is it enough crack, Scully? You certainly can. Oh my. The voice in my head will guide me. I do not need this. The voices in my head guide me to my goals. My head again. I don't God. talk to real people. I'm a man. I have the conversations with the people in my head. <laughs> the, the, I don't have the walls communicate with me. <laughs> that is a good book, though. Which one? The rest. Of it's the walls. an H.P. Lovecraft short story. I'm. But, uh, I'm I want to. I want to start reading H.P. Lovecraft, but I'm also scared. <laughs> Very understandable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. I'm afraid I'm gonna flip the page and be like, ah, his cat. Find audio recordings all on YouTube and stuff. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. This stuff's all in the public domain. Oh okay, good. I gotta wear headphones in because I don't want to be caught in public and then be like, ah, no, it's his cat. I swear, it's his cat. It's a cat. The in the walls is the one that does have his cat's name. Unfortunately, yes. Which no. Yeah. Aside from that is spectacular that is just like a it's like i remember it caught me so off guard when i was listening to it i was falling asleep and it like totally woke me up i was like what who just said that like <laughs> the virgin hp lovecraft saying his cat's name versus the chad yeah, jimmy like, from Christ. south park saying it oh yeah oh god that was a funny episode the episode maddie uh jimmy is a He's like handicapped, so he's considered a cripple. So he joins the Crips on accident, thinking it's a different kind of club. Oh, uh, <laughs> it is the funniest crap ever. It is one of my favorite fucking episodes from that show. It's so goddamn funny. You gonna b b b b b bust my balls, bro? Come on, man, for real. <laughs> Where you gonna be b b b busting my balls, you dad? <laughs> but. To get back to the Andrew Tate, I love that it was the pizza box that was his Dude, the fucking, he didn't, it's like he didn't even have to order the pizza. He could have just, like, out of everything he could have done. It's so funny, the fact that it's the pizza box that gave him away. And he's going to be in jail for, like, hopefully the rest of his fucking life. Hopefully a long-ass time. That dude's like yeah. a piece of work. Dude, God. I don't know how you get, I don't, he's like, it's the craziest fucking thing seeing people, like, defend him. Cause it's like, like my guy, dude. my how... guy got rich from OnlyFans. Like he's literally a weirdo. Like my this man is, is a not my not man's cool. is clearly mentally deranged. He he used to be a professional kickboxer. He got hit too many times in the head. He's not thinking straight. He makes his money from managing girls OnlyFans. Like my guy, that is not the person you want to look up to. That is usually what I call a weirdo. Wait a minute, <laughs> and that might have to be material. the least. Hold up, this might have to be the least manliest job ever. Thinking about it. Think about it. You are relying on women <laughs> to make your money. <laughs> he relies surely oh God, on ex yeah, well not just that, but exploiting them too, but yeah, this my man literally is oh god. You as a man Brain cannot Lord. make your own money, so you rely on women to make your money? Oh, quite unmanly of you. <laughs> he 
is, though. He really is not even what a man should be. Dude, I remember that whole, like, fucking two weeks where it felt like he... about him, though, is he's bald. Like, <laughs> I hate bald people for real. Just get hair. <laughs> if, if you're homeless, just buy a house. Dude, just you know, grow some you know where fucking he's like, hair. What color is your brigade? He's like, what color is your hair, dog? <laughs> <laughs> like, we should start leaving that under people's posts about that, because I still get shit like that all the time where I see it, and I'm like, bro. Yeah, I don't I know have... why. Like, I'll randomly get recommended like Andrew Tate videos. Like, I don't even watch stuff remotely similar to that. So, like, I, Yeah, like, I don't know about you, but I constantly use that do not, not interested in button. Like, yeah, I use that like, all, the like, all the time. All the time. Like, I'm like, still, I want to oh, see this. Did you want to see a new, you know, Sigma clip from Andrew Tate? It's like, no. No, no I didn't. I, I actually didn't. I really wanted to not see that. How did you know? No, <sighs> no fucking YouTube shorts. I don't want to see another fucking Andrew Tate. Again. I've, Poor, I've already said I don't, I'm not interested in this 37 times. Please. God. Get the fucking it. Bro, it was so fucking crazy. I just, like, I had to stop. I, I like I muted certain words on like uh on Instagram and Twit not Twitch a uh, fucking Twitter, and like yeah. I just didn't go on YouTube Shorts for like a week because I was like I'm not I'm not I don't want to fucking see this because if yeah, I see it I just get I just less. get mad I just like I can't fucking do this. It's so aggravating you because you're like I don't want to see this anymore. I clearly do like, not care. Because like to me it's like no one can actually be this stupid, right? Like for real. Like nobody, nobody can be, should. Nobody can no be this be dumb, right? And then I learned he was a kickboxer. I was like, oh, right? makes sense. I, I thought it wasn't, but apparently, apparently it is. Someone he defies is... all logic. <laughs> what the fucking B movie clip where it's like at the beginning? I forgot the quote. Sorry. Oh yeah, according to all known laws of aviation, a bee should not be able to fly. The Dude, B, however, does not care. Which, and however, we have to. Speaking of, because that's a DreamWorks movie. Speaking of uh, that, I want to talk about for at least a little bit. Peak cinema. You guys saw Puss in Boots too, right? Not no. yet. I want to. You guys haven't? Fuck. No, I wanna. God damn it! <laughs> I live like an hour and a half from the nearest theater. Like, I will. I I've will go. I will drive for like. I will drive Three up weeks. to where you live, the several states away, and I will personally make you go watch it. Damn. And this I is not it. this is not this is not a threat, although it is, and it's also a promise. All right, though. I appreciate it. Of course, of course. But no, like for real, you should watch it. It is really fucking. I, I good. want it. Like I definitely want to. Oh. Man, I wanted. I was so itching to talk about it too. I was like, man, I can't fucking wait. You can talk about it. You can spoil it. <laughs> no, 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 no I, I'm not I, doing I actually want to see it. I've heard it's like really good film. It's Dude, it was this weird because like else online told me it was good. Yeah. It was weird because like the Sigma voices in my head said it was good. <laughs> the Sigma male voice telling me to push in boots. But yeah, it was really that weird because like I push in boots movie be hitting different for real. I was like, uh, I went into the movie. I was like, oh, the trailers look like really nice animation. So I was like, ah, this will probably be like, you know, pretty okay. And I was blown the fuck away by how good it was. The animation does look really good. Like in I the love... clips you've sent me on Instagram. Yeah. I love the Spider-Verse animation. Like. Dude, that new Spider-Verse looks pretty good. That new Spider-Verse does do. look pretty good. I, I mean, the first one was amazing. Like It was. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm excited to see the sequel. Best Spider-Man movie ever. Don't at me. It really Don't is the best Spider-Man movie. Don't even at me. Literally. It, it's just not even... It's like not even the a The definitive Spider-Universe movie. It's not... Like, there's not it's, even... It's... I can't think of another... It's just good. Any other Spider-Man movie that comes close. It's just god dear. It's just a different... It's simply built different, honestly. Oreo. Like... I think the second best would probably be like, maybe No Way Home. I think the newest one with Tom Holland would probably be second best. Yeah, that opinion. new one was excellent. I was really impressed because I wanted to hate on it, honestly. I was, But, like, it was just genuinely good. My feelings were hurt because I was like, I want Tobey Maguire and Andrew Tate and not Andrew Tate. Andrew Garfield. Andrew Tate as Spider-Man <laughs> what? <laughs> the worst Spider-Man no. cinematic universe thing ever. 
<laughs> God. <laughs> That'd be terrifying. Andrew I Tate as your so Spider-Man. He just comes down and he lectures the villains on how to be Sigma Alpha males. He lectures them on how to make more money while spending. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> charging them to, to, to take All right, Kingpin, what's your, what color's your Bugatti? <laughs> Parker, what color's your Bugatti? <laughs> yeah, he'd make a great Flash Thompson, though. <laughs> oh, he, he would. <laughs> Flash Thompson probably watches Andrew Tate. Flash Thompson, <laughs> probably, would, Flash Thompson would definitely does. watch Andrew Tate. Oh. Emo's, Dude, that is the... The biggest burn I've ever heard, and the most accurate statement ever. It is the most accurate statement I've ever heard in my fucking life. Oh my god! Yeah, imagine like a Sigma like podcast, like one of the Sigma podcasts, but it's run by Ned from uh, the new Spider-Man movies. <laughs> this you mean the CEO of Sex? Yeah, the CEO himself, like <laughs> the CEO of Sex podcast. <laughs> God, that'd be great. It's it's Ned from the new movies. It's Andrew Tate. It's um, <laughs> it's Ben Shapiro. Puss in Boots. <laughs> Puss in Boots himself. <laughs> Not even like the Why? voice actor. It's just Puss in Boots. And uh, the good voice is Puss in Boots, by the way. It was uh, Andrew Tate, didn't you hear? <laughs> Andrew Jesus Tate. Christ. <laughs> when in doubt, it's Andrew Tate. <laughs> <laughs> It's voiced by the Romanian pizza box. <laughs> My favorite actor now is the Romanian pizza box. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen the clip online. It's that it's that old clip of Walter like reading off his address. It's like Andrew Tate's pizza box being like, "Bro, I love it was the one where it's the kids from Captain for Underpants real. doing the dance to that on the dance floor, and every time they the beat hits, it shows another portion yeah, of IP." <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> That one has to be weak every time. I love the one where it's the, the Star Wars, where it's like, nice argument, however, it like, gets the opening scroll, and then it like scrolls up, and it's just the different parts of their actress. I, I have not seen that one. Hold up, I have it on my phone somewhere. When we get off Send the... It, please. Yeah, I will have on. to when we get off. It's so fucking funny. It's so great. Oh my god. That's the... Stupidest shit ever! Like if you told me Andrew Tate was gonna get arrested for sex trafficking, I would believe it. Caught by a Romanian pizza box, like if you told me the person, not even the person, if you told me the reason to bring down the great Alpha G, Top G himself, was gonna be a pizza box, I would simply laugh in disbelief. There's no fucking way. Like, what? dude, you can't even make that up. It's like. <laughs> What a fucking <laughs> what a fucking year this is already. Andrew Tate has Dude, been that, that pizza dethroned. box really had the sigma energy if you think about it. I'm still Bro, baffled. Imagine defending a dude that's like being charged with like sex trafficking. Oh, there are and you're people like, online being like, "Oh, it's not that big a deal." It's like, dog, like being it is for sex trafficking. Like, and there, I, there's people online who are big, like, there's people online. Book, that's a big deal. There's people online who are like, uh, it's not it it's not even proven. It's just accusations, and it's like, dude. How do you get falsely accused with sex trafficking? The guy it, has made a startup running twice, actually. This isn't his first time. I think this is actually his third. I think, yeah. Yeah, like, I feel, I thought I heard, like, he, this isn't the first time he's been accused of, like, this sex isn't. trafficking. I like, remember it was, like, there was once, like, when he was blowing up, like, a couple months ago. I remember it was, like, a thing back then he was being investigated for. And then, like, yeah. And now he's... I don't. I don't know all the details. I heard a lot of the. My brother-in-law was telling me a lot of the details. He seemed to know a lot more about it because he was. He was on that Sigma pretty, grind like, set. No, he was pretty like this guy's disgusting, and um, he was telling me a lot of it. So I, I don't. I don't know how true all of it is, but what he was saying, this guy was. I was like, Jesus Christ, this this really is not like. Oh, he was just accused of. This sounds like he's a real, fucking, you know, piece of work. He's he's an irredeemable I mean, monster. All he had to do is like listen to like his podcast, like the. Man is like a, just a literal misogynist. Like for <laughs> real, your tape fans when they find out the guy who's like an actual misogynist is surprise, surprise, like a sex trafficker. I like, have wow, to, I have to believe that. I have to believe that Andrew Tate still believes in cooties. The way he speaks about like the shit that he says. 
Is there someone someone in like kindergarten told him about cooties and they never told him it was a joke and now he's I think Andrew I think Andrew See, that is the kind of that's an Eric Cartman arc right there is that not James That is Eric Cartman right there I will have I cannot deny Who the hell is Eric Cartman you the guy know. from South Park that's the kind of kid that oh. he would do something like that where something and he takes it so literally and he freaks out and like stuff like that. that's the kind of shit he does Honestly that's so accurate. Yeah, you know what? All right, who's a, who's a bigger villain, Andrew Tate or Eric Cartman? I'm gonna have to go with Andrew Tate, honestly. Uh, Eric Cartman has never human trafficked people, so I'm gonna. He's just, he might have killed people, but he's just a kid, you know. He may have killed people, but I'm also willing to bet Andrew Tate has probably killed someone. Dude, he killed like half my brain cells. <laughs> Dude, oh God, I might as well be dead, I'm looking like a vegetable. Over he's here. killed my. <laughs> he's killed the Instagram algorithm with giving me good shit. <laughs> Honestly, now it's like, just it's, it's even worse when you watch something like like an like a video making fun of Andrew Tate and they recommend like Andrew Tate videos it's like but no, these are completely opposites. What do you not understand? They're like, what do you mean you don't like Mr. Top G? You like five other videos of Andrew Tate in them? Doesn't realize the fact that they were all calling him out. <laughs> yeah, I think I think there was also I think I'm like starting to remember like a quote from him where he's like. If I caught my son like playing video games above the age of like eighteen, I think I would disown him. I think I remember this. Like I think I, like some wild <laughs> shit. Son, I was like, what the what the fuck are you saying? Do you do you just not have fun? What do you do? I don't know. I, I don't know if I've ever heard him say that, but I would. This is the kind of thing he would say though. <laughs> I may or may not be wrong, but I also don't feel bad if I'm wrong. You know. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's human trafficking, like, <laughs> like God damn, like, I don't even know how do you get falsely accused with it. It seems like a kind of like, oh, look at all these people you have here mysteriously in your basement, kind of thing, you know? God, honestly, man, but no, it, it's it's agents from the Matrix, dude, you know. Yeah, they're just they're out for Mr. Top G. He's bringing back real masculinity. And that's what they're scared of. I saw a meme that was like Andrew Tate when he gets arrested from agents from the Matrix, and then in parentheses it says the Romanian police, and it's like, <laughs> and it's like for grinding too hard. And then in parentheses it says you know human trafficking. <laughs> like, yeah, it reminds me of the fucking ones where it's like me, me, uh, like the Wendigo ones, and it's like the mailman. Yeah. Yes. God. Oh my goodness. I guess to hop off Mr. Top G right now and talk about a little bit something lighthearted we could probably end the shows on. Um, so you guys saw the new Lego you set that's coming that out? Mr. Mr. Tate himself is not an interesting funny character. You're wow. telling me you're telling me that Mr. Mr. Tate himself is not a good wholesome family guy? He's not a funny little fella. He's not funny? Oh. But I'm, um, did you guys see the new Lego set that's coming out uh, soon? Yes. Uh, I sent to the they, they do release a few of those. The A-frame uh, Lego cabin? I sent it to the chat, yes. Uh, but the yeah, look chat. it up. I love that one. I love it Which so much. Chat? Yeah, look, we have like eight. In the Lego Warhammer one in uh, Instagram. Oh, shit. Let me check. It's beautiful. They made a Lego otter piece now. Yeah. A the Lego otter piece is awesome, dude. What? Dude, I don't I'm even gonna see it. But Wherever, I'm, there, I'm gonna do. I might get it just for that piece alone. Unfortunately, I, I might just get it. So I've been back to the Warhammer Challenge Discord, Instagram. We said Insta. Oh, I'm not in that one. That's why I haven't seen it. Oh, are you not? Oh my god. No. Man, we're such it's terrible like, friends. Oh, no. God, honestly. <laughs> Damn, man. Like... Oh, no, no. Remember, you deleted Instagram for a while. Whatever. Yes, I or... did. So. <laughs> I had to take he was too he was too busy on his grind. He was too yeah. he was too busy grinding <laughs> in parentheses. Hey. Not human trafficking. <laughs> <In parentheses. laughs> Not human trafficking. Non yeah, I'm gonna add you to it right now, Scully. But yeah. Thank you. There's a there's a Lego like A frame cabin set and it looks fucking awesome. And it's just a really good like display piece, I think. It, okay, good. You're in the, the side of sauce uh, one. I was gonna add you to that too. Yeah, that's oh, how right. I found out the podcast yeah, no, today. Uh, 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 <laughs> I know this. We were roasting our other co-host in that one. We were roasting uh, Xavier in that one. We we always gotta. If you're not, if you're not consistently flaming your friends, 
Are you really friends? Yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know a single friend where our friendship is not me consistently insulting them. I do get that. That's Gabe. Honestly. But shit, what? That Gabe? what? That is Gabe. That is his. That, that is yeah. His, uh, yeah, that's our lesson. friendship with him. But yeah. Maddie, did you see it yet? <laughs> oh shit! Did you add me yet? I'm trying. It's not. It's not showing up as a suggestion. For you know what? I might just. I might just download a fucking image. Yeah, I was gonna hey. say. Can you just like send me an image? Because <laughs> James, can you just add him real quick? Uh, I can. I think. Maybe. Why is my phone not on the Wi-Fi? That's Mad L. Mad fucking L, dude. Honestly. Why can my phone not connect to the internet? Honestly, that's beyond me. That's beyond. I'm sorry, my but something went wrong. The only thing that should be going wrong is these nuts me. in your mouth. What? <laughs> I mean, what? Who said that? We'll never know. <laughs> I guess we'll never know. <laughs> we never did know. I guess we'll never know. There we go. I sent it to the chat. All right, let's see it. Yeah, I'm trying to add. Can you add him, uh, James? By the way, to the oh, chat. Yeah. I'll do that. I couldn't. Oh, that is a nice him. house. See, that's what I'm saying. Dude, it looks like the mystery shack from uh, Gravity Falls. Speaking oh, of which, Gravity when is Falls. Legos gonna make the Gravity Falls set? Honestly, <laughs> they need that's to. That's right. Like. God. Mm. I'm gonna buy so many Gravity Falls Dude, when they eventually make it. What Lego? What kind of Lego set do you want from 2023? Gravity Falls. Spitting. Probably more Avatar sets and better ones. Well, they made some pretty cool ones. They're all right, but I would like some higher quality ones, like the more adult ones. Like, oh man, if they made adult like... ones, would be cool. What if they did they make the big dragon, the red one yet? Yeah. Okay. Wait, I was gonna say they can make like a. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I remember the, seeing the that bigger one. bigger banshee type thing from the first one. Yeah, I remember seeing that one on the shelves. No, yeah, no, I'm thinking like... Just... Imagine making one... Some of the human things. Like, some of those structures. Like, the the, the space shuttle or, or whatever. Oh, my God. Dude, that would honestly some, be like, awesome. Some, like, higher quality versions of the mechs that just look better. Hell, yeah. Dude, if I, if I could have any Lego set, I would have the, um... What you call it? The what you call it? <laughs> I'd have a, a, a Ratatouille Lego set. That would be fucking awesome. How would they do that? That? Oh, that would be good. It's popped up on uh, Lego Ideas like a couple times, but it just keeps, it keeps getting rejected. Honestly, that's what it is. That's what's happened with Gravity Falls too. Like I think it's gone to ten thousand votes a few times, but Lego's just like, no, we don't want to do For it. Sure. Same thing with like almost every Nintendo themed Lego one too. I've noticed. They just there's I like, like how Lego doesn't even follow the like their own rules, Lego ideas, or it's like no custom pieces, and then they'll make custom pieces. <laughs> Dude, honestly, <laughs> no sets on brands, and then they'll make a set about a brand. Another brand that's like totally obscure, nobody actually wants. I know some yeah. of them. Like this, I remember the Spice Girls one. And I was like, who the fuck is this for? <laughs> I, I've never seen a Lego Spice Girls. Fan. There's like a Lego like Brickhead Spice Girls one, and I was like. Does, yeah. does anyone in the year of 2020 like about, about honestly a lot of the um sets even like i don't know i feel like even though make lego makes great pictures if i'm gonna get a lego thing i'd rather get something that's like three-dimensional and they have it like in a display case or something dude that's that's spin he's out of line but he is spin like they can make cool pictures and stuff and i like those but like it's just not the same it's just not the same it's like hand carving versus like if you could hand carve something versus you like engrave or not engrave like a uh, burn it in or whatever. Like it looks yeah, nice. Yeah, I know what you're saying. But that's totally different from if you hand carve that whole thing or if you paint it on it. My man's is indeed spin. Hmm. <laughs> but um, what else? What else is coming out this year? Like I know there's a bunch of like Lego mechs coming out too. Uh, do oh. big big deal for me for me personally. But uh, so mm. we had recently. Uh, Lego leaks for a new like new sets that are coming out. There was like a codename Ooh. Lemon or something for like a couple of sets, and they What's turned that? out they're gonna be a bunch of Sonic sets. <gasps> Yo, 
So are they going to be like in the style of the Mario where they're like kind of gimmicky or are they just going to be like straight up mini figs? We don't you know? know yet. I'm hoping mini figs. Though. I like the Mario more than if they were mini figs, honestly. I really like the Mario. I don't even like Mario at all, even as a character, but I got a ton of the Mario sets because I just think they're so much fun. I do think they're interesting. I think they're interesting, they're interesting but I am upset. But I think that some mini figs would be cool too. I am kind of upset. Mini figs as mini-fix. well would be cool, but like at the same time. I don't know. Like, I just, they're such a, they're so much fun. They're so, they're so unique. You can literally make a little course for it. I just love that. That is cool, though. I kind of wish, though, that at least there was, like, at least, like, one set with a mini fig. I wonder if we'll get any new sets for the movie. That is true. I, feel I didn't like we think got about it. that. We, it might be possible. Hmm. Speaking of video game movies and stuff, are they still doing that Knuckles TV show they were talking about a while back with That's Idris Elba? Was, yeah, I was, just, I was really curious because it's still supposedly in development that happened that this would be year, goaded. but I don't know if it's going to happen still. If it, at least How this well did the Sonic 2 movie do like financially? What? Do you know how the Sonic 2 movie did financially? It, it's the, it was the highest grossing video game movie of all time. Specific numbers? I think it was like 400, 500 million, something like that. It was like yeah, the Sonic pretty impressive. Like the I, only video game movies that are actually like not bad. It is surprising how how not terrible those movies are. Of four hundred two point seven million dollars, yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'm one hundred eight, like one hundred percent. I'm expecting the Mario movie to like break that record. Oh, for sure. For sure. I just think because like Mario is much more popular. It's a, it's a because for me it's like it's because it's the Mario brand and the fact that it's being made by Illumination, and as much as Illumination has got, bad like, movies, a ton of A-list actors yeah. in it, and as much as like Illumination makes bad movies, they know how to market them. Unfortunately, so and by market like, them you mean just pay to have their marketing everywhere. Yeah. Like they, I don't hate all Illumination movies. I like the first Minions a lot, actually. Oh, not Minions, the first Despicable Me. The I first feel Despicable like Me yeah, is pretty fun. Bad. It's pretty cool. I think it's really charming. Honestly, it's not even the brand. It's like the association of all the other things out of them. It's not the yeah. movies that are hated so much as it's the like branding. It's like Minions and like <laughs> the annoying people who always just talk about like Minions or just. Or the moms that we were we had to be friends with on Facebook and posted nothing but tons of those. Oh my god, minion memes. Oh yeah, yeah. Other than that, I can't really think of like a single uh, illumination movie I really like. Other than the first Despicable Me, it's like, yeah, no, I can't think of anything because like I can't either. No, I was I was I trying to just made aside from Despicable Me. And they minions. made uh, the animated Grinch. The oh, animated they did Lorax. The Lorax. <laughs> the Lorax. They, the Lorax. they all about said, that. yeah, but Lorax. Like, I don't know. I didn't really like that much. They also did. I didn't what's either, that movie? But it's funny. <laughs> it is funny they did that. Oh, God, what's that movie? It's on the tip of my tongue. Oh, they also made oh. an obscure movie, Hop. I don't know if you guys know what that is. Is that the one with the really? snail who goes really fast? No, no that's, that's Turbo. Turbo. They okay. made a they made a movie where it's like uh, their only live action movie, Hop, or like this CGI bunny teams up with uh this human to not do easter or some shit sing they make it sing god I oh, that's sing. what it was in secret life of pets uh, both secret life of pets actually wasn't terrible but it wasn't good either it's just it all wasn't right. good either it was just it was mid unfortunately i have to uh, diagnose this with mid it wasn't like something that stood out and like it's not that it's a bad movie yeah like i don't think it's the worst movie ever it was a sweet movie it was cute and it was funny but, like, it doesn't stand out. It's not the one movie, like, I want to share with my kid, you know? Like, there was something I grew up with. This, it might just... Say, or I could I see. There, like, a goose who's, like, a gangster in it or something? Like, a Ricky that you talking about? <laughs> like, I can't remember. R. R. Ricky. I cannot like, remember. I don't and, like, remember that part of the movie. The sewer and they have, like, a portrait of Ricky the goose. <laughs> yes! Oh, yes! I remember <laughs> <laughs> this shit was so so memories. Locked memories. Holy I gotta look shit. up a picture of this man Ricky now. <laughs> <laughs> and like the, the one rabbit's always like R.I.P. Ricky. Yeah, wasn't he voiced by what's his name? Uh, Kevin Smith or whatever. Hart. Kevin Smith. But yeah. What? Kevin Hart. Whatever. Secret Life of Pets. Ricky. The you just combine Kev- Kevin Hart and like Will Smith together. I guess I don't even know. Oh, he's got a wiki page. Get the lore. 
the greatest he, character he, of all time. Here's a pick of him. Yo, is pick hold up. Hard, send it to the group chat. I'll shot. put him on the thumbnail. <laughs> is it, just the can't thumbnail. feel for the screenshot, Scully. Uh, the thumbnail, yeah. the thumbnail I have so far is it's gonna be it's gonna be the goose, and it's gonna be the rat roided up. Yo, yo, this picture here, it looks like one of those YouTube, like, clickbait thumbnails. Like, just circle Ricky there in red, like, with the rabbit pointing at him. <laughs> with the red like circle around Beast Ricky, and be like. like, who is this? Uh, top 10 things you missed in Secret Lives of Pets. Last person to remember w Ricky wins a million dollars, Mr. Beast Challenge. <laughs> Dude, um, I fucking love that image of Mr. Beast where it's like that guy who is not him playing him on the Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Beast! What do you mean? What's the deal with that? It's the I've epic rap battles everywhere. of history, guys. And they couldn't get Mr. Beast on the show, so they just dressed up some guy who vaguely looks like him. God. That's ridiculous. Man, I haven't thought about epic rap battles of history until I saw that, and it was so fucking funny. <laughs> Mr. Beast versus Matt Pat. Mr. Go! Beast versus an atomic bomb. Go! I, th I still think the funniest one is Skylar White versus the unmatched power of the sun. <laughs> it's just <laughs> that funny. <is> funny. <laughs> Dude, when I was younger, I used to think the the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles versus the Renaissance artist was fucking fire. I used to fucking think that, that one shit was is fire. hilarious though. It's funny as fuck. <laughs> This shit is. I don't think I've ever seen any uh, epic rap battles. You remember that friend of ours, Ian? He used to watch them a lot. He thought he sounds like someone who would watch it a lot. Goddamn! <laughs> <laughs> All right, there. You don't even know the man. First throw pops. Goddamn! With a name like that, Ian's are like suspiciously Smosh, close to it. He would be the kind of guy that likes Smosh, and I think about it. I mean, when I was younger, I did too. I, I did watch Smosh when ever. I was younger. I love that shit. The food uh, the battles. The only thing I, I watched for Smosh was the the Batman ones. You showed me those ones. Those ones are hilarious. Was, you call it, it was like Batman. I think it was no, called. Those are college humor. Oh yeah, that, that's the only one I've seen. Then yeah. That's not by Smosh. Smosh. Okay, then I haven't seen Smosh. <laughs> I don't know that. Did you know Who's they made Smosh? a movie? <laughs> that, that's my next question. Who is Smosh? Who is Smosh? <laughs> No, but seriously, who is Smosh then? I thought they were the people who did the Batman. Smosh is the... Batman. What's the... Ian and, uh... Ian and Anthony. Anthony, thank you. Yeah. Who are they? They, they, did, they did epic food battles or whatever. They did, yeah. like, the food of the year fight each other. Nope. It was the early, early years, and then, like, they slowly started doing skits of stuff, and eventually one of them left. I can't remember which it one was, it was. Uh, Anthony. Yeah, Anthony left Smosh in, like, 2017 or something like that. And now they have a bunch of people on there, so it's more like a YouTube channel where they make stuff together. It's like a collaborative thing. Mm -hmm. So they do like skits and pranks and all stuff. I've seen any stuff. Like, can you think of anything I would have seen no. of them? And I would. They, they don't. They don't make the kind of content that me or you watch anymore. But like, they, they used to make stuff that was like very. Didn't they like, have a movie. They yes, did. They yeah. Had a movie. I it was I had it that movie terrible. as a kid, and I used to think that movie was so cool. James, that was. Not, you can't say as a kid, my guy. Shut that up. Came out when yes, we were, I can. Like, teenagers. <laughs> Yes, I can. I can say as a kid. No one has to know. <laughs> wait, wait. When did this come out? When did the movie come out? I can't even remember. 2017, 2015, somewhere around there. 2015. I so I was, I was still a wee lad, I think. James trying to save himself. Hold up, hold up. I have to do math real quick. Yeah, I was 12. Man. I wasn't a teenager yet, so suck it. I have never seen it, so I don't have to worry about it. That's about to change here it's real really, soon. really, really not funny. Oh, yeah, it's really not funny. It's not good. But. Isn't it rated, like, PG-13, but it's no. a comedy? It's rated something. Are you inferring that comedies can't be rated anything but, like, R? Oh, it is PG-13. Okay, I feel hell? like a, a lot of the better ones are rated, like, Those are R. adult comedies. They made. They used to make content for kids and, like, teenagers, so... They did? Really? Yeah. I never knew. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, then why were they rated R, dumbass? <laughs> oh, wait, now you're confused. I have no idea what you're talking about. Hold up, hold up. Everyone's a little confused. You said, you said it's rated PG-13 as if it shouldn't have been rated PG-13. 
Yeah, because like I thought Smosh was like a comedy channel. They so, are. Like, yeah, they did a comedy, but it was like targeted directly at, like teens and whatnot. So it was like bar like, jokes or like a little above that. But think about like fifteen-year-old kids, anywhere from there to like. It's a kids like think about oh, yeah. think Dude, about what. 15, I'm gonna be honest. Bar jokes are the shit. So like, <laughs> it's fifteen. I mean, even even at art, twenty, it's the shit. <laughs> yeah, even at twenty, the shit. <laughs> That's pretty good. Shit. <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> and with that oh, classic Lord. joke, I'm gonna end the episode there because that was fucking funny, and we'll never get funnier than that. <laughs> so if you liked what you heard today, please subscribe. All that shit. I don't remember what I say at the end of this episode. Bye. <laughs> shit. Not eleven was an inside job.